ఫర్మాట్ ఆఫ్ అ బ్యాంక్ రికన్సిలేషన్ స్టేట్మెంట్ హౌ టు ప్రిపేర్ ఏ బ్యాంక్ రికన్సిలేషన్ స్టేట్మెంట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ బ్యాంక్ రికన్సిలేషన్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ డ్యాస్ ద నేమ్ నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద పార్ట్నర్ విల్ బి దేర్ నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద ట్రేడర్ యాజ్ అన్ డేట్ హూ అన్ హూజ్ డేట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ ద సీరియల్ నెంబర్ పర్టికులర్స్ దెర్ విల్ బి ప్లస్ కలమ్ అండ్ మైనస్ కలమ్ మోస్ట్ పాపులర్ అండ్ అండర్ దిస్ ప్లస్ కలమ్ దెర్ విల్ బి రూపీ సైన్ అండ్ ఇన్ ద మైనస్ కలమ్ సో the starting point is balance or debit balance as per cash book plus if it is overdraft then this will be in the minus then all other things will remain same in case of overdraft don't add the less items or deduct the add items it will be same but in case of overdraft only this plus symbol will be the amount the overdraft will be written in the minus column then all other things will remain same and in case of passbook the items will be exchanged except balance and minus overdraft first one check issued or drawn but not yet presented for payment checks issued reduces the cash book balance but this was not deducted from passbook or in the bank hence it will be added to cash book balance to find out correct passbook balance checks deposited or paid into the bank but not yet collected checks paid into the bank increases the cash book balance but nothing happened in the bank nothing was increased in the bank hence you have to deduct these amounts from the cash book balance to find out the correct passbook balance third one interest allowed or credited or given by the bank but not entered in the cash book interest allowed increases the pass book but not to the cash book because it is non, not known to the trader hence we have to add this to the cash book balance to find out the correct pass book balance fourth one bank charges charged debited or taken by the bank but not entered in the cash book it was taken from the account holders account by the bank hence we have to deduct this amount from the cash book balance to find out the correct pass book balance fifth one direct deposit into the bank by a customer but not entered in the cash book some customers or anybody deposited to the traders bank account directly and the trader does not know anything about this hence he could not record it in the cash book hence the cash book balance was less we have to add this to find out correct pass book balance six one direct payment from the bank not entered in the cash book sometimes trader instruct to the bank to pay directly from his account to the clients or to for outstanding payments like this and some other expenses directly by the bank hence bank deduct from the pass book and paid it was not recorded in the cash book hence these amounts are to be deducted from cash book balance to find out the correct pass book balance seventh one direct collections made by the bank not entered in the cash book the bank collects the amount and credits in the bank pass book but it was not recorded in the cash book hence it will be added to the cash book balance eighth checks issued and payment received by the creditor but not entered in the cash book check issued bank balance reduced hence we have to reduce the cash book balance to find out correct pass book balance ninth one check paid into the bank but omitted to be entered in the cash book we the trader paid the checks into the bank and the bank collected the amount and the in the pass book the amount is increased but in the cash book it was by mistake not recorded we have to add it to the cash book balance to find out the correct cash book balance 10th dishonor of check and and bill discounted with the bank if check or bill dishonored by the bank the cash book was increased but in the bank nothing was recorded hence we have to deduct from the cash book balance to find out correct pass book balance then 11th check entered in the cash book but not sent to the bank we entered the check in the cash book we increased the amount but could not deposit it in the bank hence we have to deduct it from the cash book balance to find out pass book balance then we have to total 
the plus items and write down and same amount will be written in the minus column and all minus amount will be deducted to find out the difference balancing figure that is balance or credit balance as per passbook that will be the balancing figure and if you will be starting with the um, starting with the overdraft as per cash book then you will be recording it in the opening overdraft balance will be recorded in the minus column if it is as per cash book and all other things will remain same but you have to see interest allowed by the bank or interest charged by the bank then accordingly you have to adjust and in case you are starting with the balance as per pass book you have to do you have to write down the you have to write down the items in the plus column in the minus column in the minus items in the plus column but opening balance as per cash book will be in the plus column and opening overdraft balance will be in the minus column as per the pass book then the two notes are there that is balance or debit balance as per cash book will appear in the plus column and overdraft or credit balance as per cash book will appear in the minus column and all other treatment for plus and minus will remain same except for interest charged or allowed by the bank to be dealt carefully then note to credit balance or credit balance as per pass book will appear in the plus column and overdraft or debit balance as per the as per pass book will appear in the minus column and all other treatment for plus and minus positive and negative will remain same except interest charged or allowed by the bank to be dealt carefully